Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials and this is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series. In today's episode, we are going to learn all about Bootstrap tables. Tables are one of the most used, I would say, components in any modern application. Uh, be it a grid, be it an admin uh, dashboard or any sort of things where you want to list uh, things, I think tables are the most preferred ones. So after today's episode, you will be able to implement, use and master bootstrap tables. This is part 12 of the bootstrap 5 full tutorial series. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. Uh, I have planned around 40 uh, tutorials for you with live examples and much, much more. All right, so today we are in the 12th episode. Uh, today we are learning about bootstrap tables. So bootstrap tables, the first and most important thing is the outer wrapper that it provides. And there is a class called table, right? And then for each of the customized, um, uh, the background that you want to put, we can use table primary, table secondary, etc. We can also use table striped, table hover, tab uh, these are all uh, some of the things which are carry forwarded from bootstrap 4 uh, so you can always align it you can say it's responsive or not using table responsive so I'll, i'm going to show all of this uh, in practical use and after next episode we will try and put together a live uh, project where we will implement all of this in real time application so without wasting any time let's jump right into code that's what we do best all right so i'll open up a, a file here and I'm going to create a new and I'm going to call it tables.html right again this is a blank one so I'll go and take up the documentation pull up uh, the default template which is here the starter template like I keep telling this is just a starter template it doesn't have any code in it so just copy it around and that's where we, the magic starts now so what we are going to do is um, we are going to create a container that means it's going to take 100% of the width right container alrighty so now inside the container this is where we will put our table right so I'll start with the tables just take the basic one to get started right so there is a basic table let's copy this code paste it here so you see there is a uh, main uh, outer wrapper which is called table right so that's where the table belongs uh, let's see this in action first and then we will go to customize it uh, okay so we are in tables.html okay so this is how the table looks so far right it has a header some rows right now we can call and say table striped right so what oh spelling right so you see alternate colors now because i have given table striped but I don't want table striped instead we want hover right so what it means is whenever you take the mouse over you see the background color on the rows right uh, that's one you can also see table primary right so now it is blue color um, so you can you can go on adding classes like table uh, responsive right uh, and then you can shrink right so you can see it's responsive if you have the width that is scaling you can use that also but for that we need to fix the outer div right so there are different implementations of how you can do uh, this i sh showed you we can add table primary secondary uh, success danger etc i told you the striped rows that is alternate colors we can have dark right so you can also use something called table dark or table light whichever you prefer so these are all options that you can use to customize uh, your look and feel of the table but you if you see these are nothing but these are just rows and columns which are nothing but arranged in a table tabular format right so um, so we can have active you these are all the things that we are doing like borders um, if you want to have a table with border uh, just throw in table bordered etc so these are all the utility classes uh, the the trick lies in how and what we can do with it right uh, it's not just these uh, tags right uh, it's much much more than that uh, it's basically what we make of it so what i would suggest is um, when we start doing some practical um, table layout i think it will be much clearer 
uh, for now just understand that this is these are all the classes which are available in bootstrap table that we can use and we can make our user experience better right so give it a try in the next episode i will cover bootstrap buttons and then we will cover bootstrap button group and then we get into live project and live coding of real time applications i hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial uh, join me in the next tutorial where i'll cover bootstrap buttons do like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you so much